But Sammy probably qualified with mufflers back in the day. And coming out on the racetrack right now in car number two from Watertown, Connecticut, Houston Speedway, Billion Automotive, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, and JRC Transportation all backing David Gravel. David Gravel from Watertown, Connecticut. Two career wins here at Tulare. First lap for Gravel is a 12, 9, 1, 3, 1, 2, 9, 1, 3 for David Gravel. In the early going, that's quick time. Right there joining Jacob Allen in practice session as the only drivers in the 12. Got a little bit high on lap number two. That'll cost him 13.229 on the second lap. The first one. and the Rookie of the Year contender from the front row as the green flag waves on heat race number two. Not sure why, but Corey Day started in the last row. He was supposed to be in row number three. We'll have to try to figure that one out. Trouble over in turn number two. Car bouncing around. Gravel and Baston up there on the front row. Shots and sunshine in row number two. Colby Copeland and Chase Johnson and then Corey Day. And once again, the green is in the air. Heat race number two underway into turn number one. It's anybody's race, but it's going to be David Gravel who leads him down the back chute. Gravel with the lead. Donnie Schatz tried to make the big move down low in turns one and two, but it wasn't working. The top side was faster. Spent As we put lap number three of eight in the books in the second of four heat races, David Gravel leading it by 1.17 seconds over Spencer Baston. Tyler Courtney third, Donnie Schatz in fourth, and Colby Copeland in that fifth and final transfer position. Lap times again in the mid-13 second bracket by your race leader as the cross flags are displayed. Yeah, maybe a little bit slower than uh, we saw during time trials in the open track right now for David Gravel, but 13-4 certainly a respectable time. Track still in good condition. Hopefully it'll widen out a little bit when we put more race cars out here on the racetrack. Certainly things will get more interesting. Spencer based at Gravel, the World of Outlaws point leader, races into turns three and four and looks at the white flag. David Gravel off of turn number four. Spencer based in a good 15 car lengths behind him right now. A half a lap to go for Gravel. Looks like he has this one well in hand. David Gravel rides the backstretch into turn number three, tries a little lower entry in three and four. Checkered flag waves. David Gravel gets the victory. That's very good. And this is a track where you've won twice. And it's, it's a unique track. It seems challenging. What does it take to get not only one here, but two? Uh, man. <laughs> jumps on the meth and on the green is in the air side by side they drag race into turn number one Selzy up top kids are down low Selzy's gonna lead them Giovanni Selzy with the lead down the back spread Spencer based it with big moves by David Gravel by Carson Macedo and now looking for the second spot he's to the inside of Craig Kinsler Spencer based it second as they cross the line excellent move there by Spencer based it man up into the third spot in car number 24 Craig Kinsler running fourth feeling pressure now from the number two of David Gravel Gravel slips by on the inside Kinsler turns it back underneath him. Craig Kinsler fourth again as they cross the line. Craig trying to hold on to a second row starting position right now, but under heavy pressure from Gravel. Sweet right behind them, and then Carson Macedo and Shelton Hoddenshill. 
all G3 to go. Best battle still that race for fourth crown leg into the inside. And Craig Kinzer, but cannot make the move. Kinzer pulls away. And now Brad Sweet edging a little closer to the big game motorsports number two. And track time slowing down here, Johnny. We're in the uh, mid 14 second bracket here come dash time. So Track's again, really changing. Track has definitely changed. The 305 sprint cars out there helping helping to slick it off the racetrack. And that is a good thing for side by side action. Giovanni sells. He crosses onto the white flag. One lap to go for Hot Sauce. Looking for the pole position in tonight's feature. I wonder if the uh, changes in the racetrack didn't catch a couple of these teams by surprise. And some of them just frankly not looking real fast here in this dash. Checkered flag wave. Giovanni sells. He wins the Nerd Vision Fast Pass dash. Spencer based in second. Rico Avery third out the line. David Crowell steals the fourth spot from fifth place. Craig Kinzer. is underway in Tulare. Green is in the air. Drag race into turn number one side by side between Geo and the five car. Spencer Mason is going to lead him down the back straightaway. Spencer Mason top to the bottom of the speedway exiting turn two to take the lead. David Crowell now coming after Silsey for second. Can't make the pass in turn four as Spencer Mason leads the opening lap. Jacob Allen now right behind the 41 has the Dominic Selzy move for second. David Gravel to the inside of Giovanni Selzy. They'll go side by side out of four. Gio cuts it back and picks up oh, the, the second leader spot. Oh, Coming out of turn number four. Good restart for Rico Abreu. Gets second from David Gravel, at least for the moment. Gravel trying to come back at him down the back straight away. Rico Abreu certainly has the local track knowledge here in car number 24. The Toast Construction sponsored entry in the second spot. And here comes Shell on Chill. Nearly some contact between the teammates, Kyle Larson and Tyler Courtney, as they race down the front straightaway. Tries to cut it back, but Shelton has the position, or does he, Johnny? Rico Avery with a slide. Oh, oh Shelton is sideways. How did David Gravel miss it? We stay green. Shelton did a magnificent job to hang on to it, but lost three spots there, make it four. The top two have gotten away, and then it's wild from third on back right now. Gravel, Sweet, and Larson next in line. Tells him, holds him off, and David Gravel now right back in the mix. Gravel to the inside in one and two. Takes second from Rico Avery as they make their way down the back stretch. Dominic Selzy pulled the 41 off the racetrack. Brad Sweet to the inside of Rico Avery. It's a battle for third right now. He drives him deep, but Rico's got it. Now Larson's going to get underneath Sweet for fourth. Kyle Larson by Brad Sweet. He works the middle of the speedway in one and two. Sweet trying to catch back up with him. Rico swung a little bit wide. Now Larson gets to third. Kyle Larson up to third. His first appearance at Thunderbolt Raceway since a Trophy Cup win in 2013. He is now very much a factor as he closes in on the big game motorsports number two of David Gravel. Rico Avery up high in turn two and Brad Sweet slides by. Sweet is able to get into the fourth position. Larson had to pinch it sideways there as Gravel got a little bit sideways right in front of him. They're both chasing Giovanni Selzy. We're 20 laps into this one. 15 to go. A car moving slowly. It's uh, Templeton, California's Montgomery gets it off the racetrack. Top three, top four, top five now. No traffic separating those cars. Here's Kyle Larson to the inside in turn number one. A bit for second. Slides up in front of David Gravel. Gravel tries to come back at him, but now Kyle Larson second down the back straight away. Larson pinched that one off off of turn number two really tight. Kyle Larson making some cheetah-like moves out there right now. He is tracking down your leader. Kyle Larson up to second. Slower car, Spencer based in between the leader and second place. David Gravel third, Brad Sweet fourth, Rico Abram in the fifth position. Larson's got it as close as it's been. Kyle Larson with a move to the inside out of turn two. Can't make it happen there. David Gravel and Brad Sweet exchange the third spot. Rico Abram back to the inside of Sweet now to take the fourth position. Giovanni Selzy doing well, staying in front of Kyle Larson again. Heavier traffic in front of the race leaders in turns one and two. Kyle and Larson all over Gio Selzy down the back straightaway, trying to find a way. He dips down low. Slider from Larson. Selzy turns it back underneath. Giovanni Selzy maintains the lead. And now David Gravel is right back in the mix with a move to the inside. Oh, Larson can't take the second spot. Oh, Larson saw Gravel there, and he really stepped on it. Now he's sideways, and Gravel gets by him. David Gravel capitalized on the rare Kyle Larson mistake. Got second, and now all over leader Giovanni Selzy, who still has not cleared the slower car of Rock's Airbus. This time by, there will be two laps to go, and David Gravel looking to steal the win from Giovanni Selzy in turn three and four.
with a slide job. Silsey again turns it back underneath him. And now Larson's right back there, caught up to him. Two laps to go, 33 down. Gravel to the inside, Geo up high. Kyle Larson's right there. Giovanni Selzy into three and four. David Crowell right on his back bumper. The white flag is in the air. There's one lap to go at Thunderbolt. Into turn number one. Gravel takes a look down low. Geo protects right in the middle of the groove, Johnny. Back straight away for the final time into three and four. One more chance for David Crowell. Giovanni Selzy into the middle to the cushion out of turn four, and he will hang on to win in his home state. David Crowell second, Kyle Larson third. All right, guys, we are at Tulare for the first race of our California swing. Uh, last night was a great night. We drew a four, went out early, qualified second quick, won our heat from the pole, was able to draw the number three in the dash, fell back to fourth. Um, that put us starting fourth in the A main, and it was a roller coaster ride. There was times we were up to second, there was times we were back to fifth. Uh, track was rough. Had a bad restart, whereas in second on the restart, fell back to fourth. Uh, had a couple close calls with uh, Kyle Larson and Sheldon Hottenschild. Luckily, we were able to go, get away with that unscathed and had a chance to win the race with uh, three laps to go. Slid for the lead, Geo passed us back and ended up running second. So it was a really strong night to start out. We're here for night two at Tulare. Uh, we drew a 50 tonight, same amount of cars, 32 cars, four heat race format. Uh, a little bit warmer today. Last night they had 305s, tonight they have 360s. So we will see uh, what, what track will be like in any different. Um, the track looked like it would be dry to start off the night and it was actually pretty wet. And then they did track maintenance as the night went on and, and kept it fairly good. So we'll see what we can do guys. Appreciate you all. I just started a TikTok page. Check out uh, my TikTok page. Went live here earlier today. So I'm gonna start uh, using that to my advantage and uh, try to build all these uh, social media outlets up and. Let's see if we get another solid run here, guys, and I get in the dash and have a good run and enjoy our week. We'll talk to you guys after. Thanks. at Speedway, Billion Automotive, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, JRC Transportation, number two out on the racetrack. Now here is David Gravel. David Gravel in the two. The Watertown, Connecticut driver, 29 years old, was runner-up last night in the feature event. Let's see what he can do on lap number one, 13, 4, 3, 2. It's one of the better times we've seen in a while. 11th quick, 11th quick for Gravel tracks uh, right up against the wall especially in turn number two and turn number four right now second lap is better 13 381 for gravel that's eighth fastest good time for this late in the going bring us to the green flag in heat race number one and the green is in the air brad sweet has the jump based and right behind him david gravel looking for some racing room as well they spot brad sweet out in the front looking to exercise the demons uh at to Larry's Thunderbolt, he's never slightly closer to the second place machine of Spencer Faced and will watch that action down the back straightaway as they vie for a spot in the Dirt Vision Fast Pass Dash. Gravel dips down a little bit lower on entry that time in turn number three, but nothing doing. Baston gets away from him. Spencer Baston still hangs on to second this time, but Spencer Baston will finish second. David Gravel comes home third.
Easing into the methanol, they get on it, and the green is in the air. Side by side down the front stretch, Spencer based and down low, leading it, Corey Eliason looking for a run on the top of the speedway. Eliason noses up, now takes a peek to the inside at three and four. They're side by side off of turn number four, battle for the lead, give to Spencer based and he'll lead lap number one with the Selzy brothers, right behind Corey Eliason. Man, it's been a tough start to this race for David Gravel, he's trying to gather a rhythm right now in car number two after he lost a couple more positions. Coming after Spencer based and for the third spot now as they race into turn one. To the inside goes Gravel. They may have touched there on the entry to turn number one. Gravel picks up the position. He's into third. 31 laps down, coming to complete lap 32. Just a little bit of traffic for Larson. Oh. He catches a piece of the lead. Kyle Larson wins the finale at Thunderbolt Raceway. Sheldon Hodge